Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of Wonder Egg Priority. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. Where's my third? Oh, are we finally going to learn more about her and her situation with her sister? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an effed up way to go, but you know, hey. Mm. But he was disgusting. So cute. Yeah. Hopefully, like, we get a little more ish on her and her sister. Because the last time we saw her before, you know, she was admitted to the hospital, she did say that, you know, the situation between her and her sister and her sister died, and she blamed herself, and yada yada, and this is that, and third. But still, I want more. God, I need some clarity, even though this is episode five. Heck in a way, I kind of wish I waited until the show was over to just binge it all in one day, but mm, that would have been a little too impossible, and that would have reminded me of the ish I did for Kimono Friends when that show aired. <laughs> You sure? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> 
There we go. Okay. Well, damn, Rika. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. What's up? See, I was thinking about that too. Because it's all, I mean, I understand, yes, a teacher, when something tragic happens, it makes the most sense for that teacher to come visit. But he visits a little too much, in my opinion. I know, Momo, you don't want to assume because that, you know, that's your uncle. Pff, I ain't kidding. Yeah, but the biggest thing is we're trying to figure that out. And hopefully when Coco wakes up, we're able to get that answer. So, and besides, it would be it wouldn't be that too easy. He wouldn't come out and completely say it. I'll see you trailer. And you were going to tell him no that day. And you probably walked in on it at the wrong time. Yeah, she had to. Mm. Well, it is true. Some women want to be like that. Oh, God. 
time. <clears throat> oh. I figure she is in her 20s. Did you get bullied because of your hair? Hmm? Of course you did. Oh, really? We going Snow White up in this bitch? Figure she would say that. hanging out together. It's so cute. Oh, cute, even sweetie. I'm guessing Haruka was, But what about work? <laughs> huh. I still don't trust those two guys because, okay, you know, if any of you have seen, you know, not only Monica Magica, but freaking Rev You Starlight. I don't trust giraffes, <laughs> cute little animals, or anybody, because, you know, you never know what the hell they're planning. I don't trust these two, because I feel like they're going to plan something in the second half of the show. Aww. It's so 
cute. Seriously, just look at them. I can't trust them. Like, there's something in the pit of my stomach, and I just can't trust it. And I can't shake the feeling. <laughs> but you want to complete your mission, right? I get that, but... Because she misses her and she wants to know the truth. Because, I mean, like, Rika, as much as I love you, you just wanted to get some money back. That's it. That's not the best reason. You're right about that. Rika. About saving your sister needed? Oh. Okay, here's one thing I want to say real quick. The girl that we saw that Nitty was helping. That okay, because I want to, <laughs> I want to ask if that is her sister, but I don't think that is. It's just a random girl who's just asking her, like, "Oh, hey, why don't you just die when you're young?" But it seems like that's her sister. Maybe you should shoot her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take away the one thing that she loves the most, her hair. Well, that's fucked up. So I just take back what I said a couple minutes ago. Mm hmm. Just like them things, well, what's her face?
Mm-hmm. No hi, no nothing. Oh my god, Rika! <laughs> that's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna talk about something. I think I said this before, especially with seeing Nettie for the first time. She gives me a lot of Homade vibes. She is very, you know, on her own, independent ish not like you know how homare was always trying to protect madoka in a way but because of the fact is she's just you know always wanting to be on her own yes she likes being around the girls and everything but sometimes she just it's that type of person it's like yeah i love you nothing's wrong i just need to be alone i need to be by myself i need to do things on my own instead of us all working as a team i was you know expecting these four to work at it as a team because since they all are all friends and they are hanging out together you would assume we're getting an episode and we might we might still later on maybe who knows in the second half um of these four girls working together and using their powers together i'm just saying that's all but the chick who was talking to Neto and about saying, yeah, you should die young because you're beautiful. You're at your most beautiful because if you keep aging, you're going to look old and ugly and nobody wants that. I mean, Jesus, like, uh, it's, I don't know why, but she gave me pretty little liar vibes all over again. Like, Jesus Christ. And how what's your face kept talking about like no it's so because no matter what if you die at a young age you're eternally beautiful no matter what you never age and this set and the third and I was like oh my god yeah I was like do y'all not know what y'all is saying with this I was like come on now I was like pretty little lies just be a little better than this but I get it like seriously yeah we're at our most like um beauty because once we get to a certain age our beauty fades and everything I get that and they say even with surgery, lipos, uh, li liposuction, liposuction, all the suctions and surgeries and everything, you know, you don't, once you do that surgery, you don't look anything like you do. Um, but then you have like certain, hmm, how should I wear this? <laughs> uh, certain, well, cause I am one of them. <laughs> Um, where people, you know, cause like, okay, I'm not gonna say my age. I, I am in my 20s. Mind you. Thank you. Um, but sometimes I had this one chick <laughs> and guy come up to me one day. And because I am tall for my age, especially this happened when I was like in elementary school, people automatically assumed that I was like 16, 17, um, or 18. And then when I was in middle school, I, um, got the same thing people thought I was 16 17 maybe like mm, somewhat in my 20s and I was like no 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 even now like some people get my age correctly but <laughs> like there are times where I look at pictures of me like in 2009 and um the pictures of me now and how I still look the same and I look like I haven't aged even though I'm like this age in 2009 and this age in 2021 and I'm like oh my god but yeah it, it's just, I, I feel bad for her. This was like, mm, I wasn't expecting that to go down in this episode. I did like the fact that, you know, they talked about Momo's uncle. Because, like I said, in my opinion, because I've been thinking about this ever since the beginning of this damn show. He had to have a situation or a relationship with I's best friend. And that could be one of the reasons of why 
she killed herself. It may not be the number one reason, but it could be one of many reasons. I do agree with Rika to the fact is like, well, maybe you should move on from her. You have friends and stuff. But I want to know truly what was the reason. We as the audience who are watching this show, who are looking uh, through the POV of I, we also want to know. So we have the right to, you know, watch every single week, seeing I save every single um, girl. Until eventually, you know, her best friend wakes up and she asks her a question. For me, Enrica, like, as I said, I love her dearly. But, like, her reason just to wake up once her face to get money back, that's not really the best reason. I think even with the fact is we know that she did feel sorry about um, her fan killing herself. Because, of course, that's the worst thing that you never want, ever want anyone to happen. Honestly. And so I think... Maybe next week she'll apologize for it. I don't know. I just we gotta wait till next week. I don't know. I have like a really bad feeling something bad's gonna happen with this with these two mannequins. Come on now, like <laughs> if you see Madoka and Ruby Starlight, you know something bad is gonna happen with this. And I hate that feeling. I I can't help. I can't shake that feeling. And I hate thinking about it because every Tuesday when I watch the show now and anytime I hear them or just see them, I'm like. Y'all are going to do something. I don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to do something. And it, it, like, cause some, like, I have this weird feeling that all four of these girls are going to die by the final episode. And I'm just going to be like a hot mess crying over these four children and just be like, oh my God, I can't do this again. Like, no, I already lost, you know, seven people on Christmas with Akudama. And I don't want to cry over characters again, even though, hell, I did that last week in a couple weeks days and go with characters but it hurts I, I just I don't know and honestly that scares me but it excites me at the same time because I want to see if I'm right about it if I'm wrong about it but you know whatever happens happens just protect these children please don't let them die I just I need them to see the person who is the most important to them again one last time before you know possibly they move on but who knows? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Wonder Eye Priority. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Tuesday for episode 6. Bye, guys.